And, and the Lieutenant Governor from North Carolina, if you could uh, help me understand, was the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments of the United States Constitution passed and moved by Republicans or Democrats? Right. And was the movement to be my picture microphone on, sir? Uh, was that would the, be Republicans. Was the move for the 64 Civil Rights Act and 65 Voting Rights Act led heavily by Republicans or uh, Democrats? That, that would be Republicans. And so as we sit here today, and as we're being accused by many of our colleagues on the other side of the aisle of wanting to somehow perpetuate the Jim Crow South, when in fact what we're trying to do is perpetuate laws that you can believe in that you've so eloquently discussed, do you see any merit in that whatsoever? Absolutely not. And just can I, if I have a moment just to add something, uh, you know, when you talk about that history, uh, that history is clear. Who stood on which side at every turn in history? It is clear. It's not even in dispute. And it's not in dispute now. What we want is integrity. We, we don't want power. We want integrity. We want the right thing to be done. We want to encourage citizens to be responsible. We want to have the best election system in the world. In the world. Third world countries, places like India where the poverty rate is staggering. They have to show that finger when they go vote. It's time that we modernize our election system in this country and stop playing all these silly games based on race. And please, stop using me as a black man as your pawn. And yes, I said it, to push your agenda. I'm sick of it. It happened a long time ago in this country and I'm tired Chairman, of it. Chairman, I would uh, ask that the witness answer the question. His time has expired. Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I just have a unanimous consent request for, to insert something in the record. Unanimous consent to insert something in the record. Consent request. You've already said that we would we could enter that in the record. You said it in your opening, Mr. Chairman. What ha what changed? Mr. Johnson, can you hear me? So we're not going to insert Johnson. something in the record. So the Republicans the can't enter anything minutes. in the record. I'm just so the need chair, clarification. The chairman doesn't want us to be able to insert stuff in the record. Maybe in a few minutes, but not right now. Oh, because, okay, because when I had my time closing, I didn't want to insert it at the time inserted when I spoke. Mr. Johnson, we're going to go in pro proper order. You're recognized for five minutes. Well, this is a great way to run a hearing. What's Impressive. What's wrong? I think Mr. Johnson's video is frozen. Ms. Garcia, can you hear me? I guess you can't. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. You're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.